No, I'm serious though. Like I'm not fucking around. Um. So uh, this is what the right wing's doing. Indiana Attorney General is investigating the doctor who provided abortion services for a 10-year-old Ohio rape victim. Doctor's lawyer says. So meanwhile, Democratic AGs Merrick Garland they're kind of doing nothing. Like they're just like, oh, well, maybe one day we'll do something. Republican AGs all across the country, they're fucking with people. They're just fucking with people for no reason. The Indiana doctor who provided abortion services for a 10-year-old girl who was raped is now being investigated by the state's attorney general, according to a lawyer for the doctor. A notice from Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita of his inquiry into Dr. Caitlin Bernard arrived Tuesday. Uh, attorney Kathleen Delaney said, we are in the process of reviewing the information. It's unclear to us what is the nature of the investigation what authority has to investigate now again the only reason um that this uh this investigation is happening is because the ag wants to be an asshole publicly he wants to be an asshole publicly right it, it's not i mean there might be some ideological you know like oh ideologically we you know we want to fuck with these people but i think it's mostly they just want to appear as if they're doing something so, um, it's just like, I don't know, I don't even know, like, obviously it's a bogus investigation, right? Because the trigger law hasn't taken effect yet. And then also, right, this falls into a different week's, uh, guideline indiana's like weak or whatever restriction is different than ohio's um but it's like this is like the state of the republican party where they're willing to like just spend infinite resources of the state and again let's assume the attorney general is successfully countersued that's not going to mean anything they might get a settlement and then he's fine right he already got like that's the thing you need to understand with the people in the state power is they've got all the power and they don't fucking care about throwing trumped up charges on people they don't care about spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on fake investigations it doesn't matter to them it doesn't they don't care they don't fucking care at all cnn has reached out to rokita for comment the attorney general had previously announced he would investigate bernard for potential failure to report the abortion and possible violation of pa uh, patient privacy laws uh that actually did not occur but you know the i wouldn't even go as far as to say possible violation of patient privacy laws i don't know man like putting all of these people on blast publicly going on fox news saying we're gonna fuck with you probably doing a little bit more uh against patient privacy than the doctor giving someone uh, crucial health care. I don't know. I'm just, maybe, I don't know. Announcing and getting millions of people involved in an online witch hunt, right? You know, I don't know. It's putting people's privacy at risk. That's for sure. The inquiry notice is the latest development in drama that has thrust Bernard to the forefront of the debate over abortion rights in the United States in the aftercath, uh, aftermath of the Supreme Court decision overturned Roe v. Wade on June 24 and ending uh, the federal right to an abortion. Bernard helped the 10-year-old after Ohio banned almost all abortions after six weeks of gestation. She told CNN earlier this month, adding that the girl was six weeks and three days into the pregnancy. Jesus fucking goddamn Christ. Within a week of the Supreme Court ruling, the girl underwent the procedure in Indiana. Under Indiana law, an abortion performed on a person younger than 16 years of age must be reported to the state's Department of Health and also to the Department of Child Services within three days of the abortion. Bernard reported the abortion procedure to the Indiana Department of Health on July 2, two days after it was performed as required by the department, according to the agency documents obtained by CNN. So basically, again, you can read the rest of this, but this is the gist, is that the Republicans, they don't care about what actually, like, oh, what actually happened? Irrelevant. What the actual law is? Irrelevant. All they care about is demonizing people for money and attention. Because now this guy, this is what he's doing. This is, he's building his political career. He's going on TV. Oh, this bitch is giving it abortion. Oh, we got to investigate, investigate. And then Republican voters, because they're all fucking stupid, mind fucking, they're zombies, right? The Republican voters are disgusting, evil, bigoted, slimeball zombies. 
zombies. They're like fucking NPCs in a fucking role-playing game when you have the random encounters, right? Like they just like these fucking weird slimes come out of the fucking grass and start fucking with you or something. That's what these guys are. Fuck them. Fuck them. Right? But again, he's raising his profile. He doesn't care about wasting thousands of dollars of state fucking resources to investigate something that obviously didn't happen. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all about using your platform to raise your profile so that you can maybe, oh, maybe he'll be governor one day. Whoa. Right? Like this fucking shit, man. It's, it's ludicrous. It's ludicrous what this country is allowing to happen. Democrats are just like, well, yeah, sure, why not? I guess this is okay. Joe Biden's like, oh, well, let's not do anything too extreme. Right? Merrick Garland's like, well, maybe I'll do something at some point in time. Right? Like, who knows what these fucking, like, what is, like, hello? Like, these motherfuckers are fucking with people, destroying people's lives right now. And Democrats are like, nowhere to be found. They're gone. Right? There is no opposition party. Now you might be thinking, Democrats are in power. Why Why would you refer to them as... Because they classify themselves as the uh, the opposition party at all times. They have power. They're still the opposition party, right? But they don't do anything, right? They don't, it's like, okay, so they're always... They're perpetually the opposition, even if they have power, and they never do anything regardless. So why do they exist? I don't know. The only reason the Democrat the democratic party even exists at this point is to stop republicans from having that seat that's like like that's really it and to be honest i mean pfft, that's a pretty good deal you vote for a democrat and then a republican doesn't sit in that seat and fuck your life up even further that's not a bad deal right so the democrats have a pretty good job you run on the platform of we're not that fucking psycho you get elected and you sit on your ass and collect a government paycheck for two fucking years or six fucking years or four fucking years, depending on what office you're running for. I mean, again, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, maybe I should run as a Democrat. I love being lazy. I love doing nothing. That's a really good job. So I don't know. Today, I'd like to announce that I'm going to run. I don't know what I'm going to run for, but I'm going to run for something, right? And uh, I will promise you I will do nothing. That's my platform. So there you go, folks. Jesus goddamn Christ. Americans will never rally behind a third party because Americans are fucking stupid. 